back to my channel. If you guys can hear it sound in the background, I'm so sorry. But today is a new day, a new video, and we're talking all about this Juvia's Place palette. This is the Warrior 3 palette. I'm just gonna go and give you guys a review. I'm gonna do my makeup, gonna create a look for you guys, and then we're just gonna use this palette and see what's good, basically. So I left you guys for a minute, I'm back. I just want to lay my hair, basically. And now I'm gonna carry on doing the rest of my makeup. When I get to eyeshadow, when I get there, I will be talking to you guys. So guys, I'm basically here just because I'm going to, um, I've done my makeup, the, the face makeup that I needed to do. And now I'm gonna go in with the palette. <laughs> Let's open it, let's open it, let's open it. So if you didn't know, by at this point, I'm reviewing the Juvia's Place Warrior 3 palette. It's one of the most colorful palettes that I've purchased from them. This is what it looks like. Um, I really, really like this palette. So this is what it looks like. <laughs> Like, it's just so exciting even just to stare at this palette. I'm already like, oh my gosh. Like, there's so many looks that I could do. Today, I will just be doing one. And then at the end of it, I'm going to review it for you guys. Let you know what I think about the palette. Let you know what I think about Juvia's Place. And just everything around that. So let's get into it, guys. I'm going to set my eyes. I think I'm going to come a little bit closer. Come a little bit. The L A bro, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I can't talk. I almost said L A boy concealer. Why? L A girl concealer in the shade Fawn. The only thing I use this for now is to set my set my eyelid, or to not set to prime my eyelids. I don't think I'm gonna set it. I'm just gonna put the colors on immediately. But. Yeah, I don't really use this on my face anymore because I feel like it's not the right shade for like my under eye and stuff. I really love eyeshadow guys. Like, I think it's one of my favorite things. I just think I like to explore eyeshadow because it gives you like a new look all the time. I have primed those faces. There's just a video that inspired me to do this look. I'll link her down below. It's totally Tara. I feel like her eyeshadow looks are just like this. How did you get it? Like, how did you even do that? So, yeah, I think her videos just inspired me to play around with eyeshadow a little bit more. I think I used to play with eyeshadow a lot, but lately, I've just become like safe. But it's spring, so I just want to be colorful. Like, I just want to, I just want to be colorful. It's springtime, so spring has sprung. I just want to be colorful and I just want to like try new colors you know try new things not everyday simple simple not everyday basic
done the rest of my makeup and I am completely done at this point. So I'm going to give you guys a quick review on the Juvia's Place palette. It's going to be quick because it's straightforward. Juvia's Place is not a new brand to me. I have used their uh, palettes in the past. I love their eyeshadows. I Although it does have a heavy amount of fallout, that's like that's a downside I guess. To some people it's nothing, but to other people they care, so that's why I'm mentioning it. More pigmented colors, like I found very bright colors and pigmented colors tend to have more fallout from what I'm seeing. This is just something I've observed and I personally, I mean I'm not moved by it, I just like you guys saw I keep the powder underneath my eye just to catch that fallout yeah the packaging as usual is so so precise and beautiful i don't know who draws everything on the juvia's face palette but look at it look i don't know who does the art on the palettes but i just love it entirely the colors are beautiful and vibrant i love how they came out i tried some colorful stuff i'm probably going to be experimenting a bit more i don't usually do colorful looks if you're on my channel and you see colorful looks probably because it's spring or summertime and i just feel super experimental i'm definitely not a very natural natural person but I'm not super colorful and vibrant either, so I just decided, you know what, today, today, we are going to bring it, we are going to bring it, so I brought it, <laughs> well, I tried to bring it, so you guys let me know what you think about the look down below in the comment section, personally, I like how it came out, a lot of colors in there are usable without another palette, like a second palette, for what's on my eyes, it's all one palette, and one palette looks are my favorite, like if there's one palette I could take around and travel with, I'm happy. Um, it's a lot of work to take around palettes as you travel if you already know so this is a good travel palette if you're trying to be colorful on your trip I really really love it so shout out to Juvia's Place I'm going to give it a solid 9 out of 10 the only thing I can minus it for is fallout but yeah thank you guys so much for watching let me know down below if you've tried Juvia's Place what do you guys think about it that's all I have to say today go have a good day night evening wherever you are guys thank you so much for watching till the end really really appreciate you guys and yeah we'll see you guys on the flip side like i say in every single video don't forget to be happy. okay bye i have a church downstairs it's them I have nowhere to go guys. I'm just looking cute for nothing. For nothing. Nothing at all. I'm just cute.